up in the army. I am Gimner5 coming at you with a brand new video. Welcome back to an Aircraft. I know I took a bit of a break. I, I wasn't really feeling that well, so I just took a break from doing this series and focused on the other, the easier ones to make. But I am prepared for what we're doing today. Um. So, if you didn't know, uh, if you didn't see the last episode, last episode we started the next, the new challenge, um, which is, in, we need to make an infinity, in, infinite water source. Well, even though we already have an infinite water source, we need another infinite water source, so that, uh, we complete this challenge, because I made these water sources at the beginning of the season. You know what? Go, uh, go find the book. I'll, I'll show you the challenge. Give you guys a little refresher. Uh, but, um, along with the, um, inf infinite water source building, I also want to build a spot for our llama and a spot for our, um, and I'm going to move our, uh, bow ring down there. Challenge 8. Cre create an uh, infinite water source and build a building for the water source. You must implement water into the design of the build. So, we have to do that today. That is what we are going to be working on today. After we sleep. Come on. There we go. But yeah, that is what we're going to work on today. I will tell you my plan of uh, what I'm going to do. You can kind of tell, so you can probably tell already what I'm planning to do. I did have to light this room up a little bit more as, um, well, as I was planning out for this episode, a skeleton spawn in the house. <laughs> so, that was weird. Anyway, um, plan. This, which I know we do have, uh, that one up there. I don't, uh, it's the, I don't really want to put, like, a creeper up there, so I want to keep this down here, uh, keep one down here, but this is the perfect spot for the infinite water source. So what I've decided to do was keep this, uh, keep this, but what I'm going to do is move it to there. Is This spot is the exact same size as this building. So what I'm going to do is move this there, and then th disassemble this, and then today I'm actually not going to build the infinite water source, I'm going to get ready to build that for next episode, which will be tomorrow. So, anyway, um, so the plan is, I'm going to move this over there, I'm going to build like a tunnel through here to get to it. Then, um, I'm also going to fi build a spot for our llama to go. I was going to move him here off camera, but I decided against it because that was going to be way too diff way too difficult because I had no spot to put him. So, um, yeah. Uh, without further ado, I think there's not much else we can do. Other than going into, uh, uh, build mode. So, let's get out of here. I might even do some redesigns at the moment. I will just put it in. But, um, I might just keep, I'm probably just going to keep it the exact same. Just move it over. But, um, yeah. 
think without for I might I might even move this. I might get rid of this. I'm not really sure. The good thing with some challenges that are done, where al I'm allowing myself now to just remove the parts that aren't really needed anymore. This is not needed. This was supposed to house squid. Does it house squid? No. <laughs> it's home to a beacon. <laughs> So I might stick like the llama here. I don't know. Um, I like having the beacon to help. It helps me know where the house fully is, even though it's pretty obvious because it's a ginormous. It's a ginormous uh, tree tree house. Anyway, let's head into super fast build mode, and uh, let's just build it. It's simple. <laughs>
Okay, so, uh, I know I haven't destroyed this yet, I think I'll just do that on camera, so, not in fast build mode. So, it's done, other than the big, uh, tunnel, that'll come up in a couple sec, in a couple minutes after we destroy this. Um, I'm actually going to destroy this in, uh, Survival mode. I have a pickaxe. Well, I'm going to destroy my pickaxe. But, um, you can hear my dogs barking. But, uh, let's, uh, let's just destroy this one now. Oh, there goes the doorbell. The good thing is we are above water, so, man, they're barking up a storm, aren't they? <laughs> Don't know why. Well, the doorbell rang, that's why. And pickaxe is broken. Barely made any, any work. <laughs> Okay, let's go get, let's go make another pickaxe, then I'll go dig that up again. It didn't actually take that long. Building it. I might have a pickaxe, let's just check. I know I have a silk touch pickaxe, I'm not taking that to that thing, though. <laughs> That's a bad idea. I'm not wasting a silk touch pickaxe on um destroying a building. So Okay. You know what, let's uh, grab six. Let's grab two pickaxes. Oh. <laughs> okay, two stone pickaxes on the ready. Let's go destroy that one fully now. I think the sun's going down also. Once I'm up there, I'll, I'll have... I have a bed on me for this exact reason. Let's just quickly grab all this. Yeah, we, uh, we've done a lot of damage today <laughs> already. Well, guess I'm sleeping here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I might actually speed up the destroying process, being that I think this will take quite a while. Especially if I'm doing it in survival.
There we go. <laughs> Got it. You know, yeah, you know what? I'll uh, I'll speed up me destroying this, and uh, I'll be back when this is destroyed. <laughs>
Okay, so this building is now destroyed. <laughs> well, to the point that, uh, to the level that I want it at for the next building. And now it's time to sleep. Come on. He's he's drinking a potion. Where are you? Whee! Horrible traits. <laughs> I never like the wandering traders. <laughs> That's like the third one that's come recently. The the others who came off camera. Um. Yeah. So this is now done. I'm leaving this because um it it'll come in handy for when we're uh well building the actual uh infinite water source. So. Uh, this is now done. This is at stage. The first part is done for this part. That part is technically done. Now all we need to do is. <laughs> now all we need to do is dig and build the llama pen and stuff, and then this episode I will end. Oh. So let's head back into super. The let's head back into build mode and. Let's get this project over with!
Uh, there we go. Okay. I I've just well, I've made I made the call. I finished this, and um, I'll uh, do the llama thing, the thing for our llama, and this on the next episode of Nerdcraft. So, before I end it off, let's uh, at least show you the tunnel in full glory, not being sped up or anything. It looks nice. I I don't here. Full disclaimer: I don't like jungle. I do not like jungle, uh, the jungle texture of this stuff. But, um, because we're in a jungle, it just goes here. Um, it's one of my least favorite blocks to use. But I think I did pr a pretty good job with it this time. It looks pretty nice. Obviously, I'm gonna put torches in here. That's why these are there. I'll uh, probably even strip this one, the middle ones, where the torches will be. Then uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna build the staircase up here off camera. So, so uh, yeah. With that, guys, I'm gonna end it here. It's been a fun episode to, this has been a blast. This It's been a blast, this episode. But with that, guys, I'm gonna call it here. I'm giving near five from the Near Army team. Signing off. See you later, Near Army. Stay cool and have fun. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye!